found on this other one. But you know, of course, folks, I do these videos on multiple channels. Um, one's monetized. <laughs> One is strictly weightlifting. You won't see too much of any other nonsense on that channel. Um, I do hope one day, let's do another warm up set. I do hope one day that we will just have, you know, completely weightlifting here and not put it on the other channels. But as I've realized, some of these videos that I can make. YouTube shorts, um, they can actually make some decent money on the monetized channel. So, in my goal to bring more gear to the Weight Slayer Gym, we, um, you know, have to do what financially benefits us because YouTube's not going to help us out in that aspect. Got to do what we can do, right? So, eventually, this channel will get monetized. Uh, it's honestly on pace for watch hours, I believe. I, I want to say it's already there for watch hours. And of course, I don't have this labeled whether this is too low, low enough. Um, I think this is lower than one I just did. We'll figure out in a second. Yeah, one of these is too low. So we want my head and neck to be under the, the spotter bars, but my chest to be above it. And by doing that, I'll be able to uh, get myself out of a sticky situation. Now, one of the problems we found last week was finding the right pin. Um, and I tell you, it's, it's highly tempting to do a double, double set of pins. Uh, just for, you know, hey, I couldn't make it. <laughs> Maybe I can hit the secondary pin. Now, interesting enough as it may seem. Let's see if we can do this. I've got a bunch of stuff I want to do. I did hear from Grave Strong about competition, so if you want to compete, um, you know, you're going to have to pick something that I do bench press wise in this. And just tell me you did better or you did worse. <laughs> Um, but so this is a slightly too high right when I'm looking at this um, for me to at the end of my lift I've got to, you know do this deal with my shoulders which is freaking terrible right so we've got to drop this down one I want to be able to use some of my chest power not just triceps to get the pin um, this thing off here now, whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know. We're just going to go for it. Um, and one thing that does scare me using these is I, if you guys have noticed, I always lock the spotter bar in with these guys, but I've got a, a safer thing for me to do is to lock these in uh, because they can turn and I could potentially hurt myself. Um, this design kind of sucks. Now why am I not using the other pin first? Uh, well the reason for that folks is that these in relationship to the hole are in different spots that um, unfortunately this is from what I've been testing the most beneficial uh, height for me. Um, using this, it's it's a little too low. If I go up one, it's too high. All right, so 
Are we getting audio? We are getting we're getting strong audio. Over there. Now I think this angle might might be blocked a little by the wall. And hell. I probably wanna see everything with my crotch view. Yeah, one thing I'm trying not to do, I don't like the crotch view, right? I noticed that like who wants to look between somebody's legs and see their belly? Now, if it's a hot chick, hey, that's another story. Uh, but for all us really masculine men, well, the last thing you guys want to look at is my gut and my crotch. All right, so, okay. So one of these days I'm going to make a video of how I set up the safety bars. And, well, I might just do that now. I mean, what the hell? YouTube short. Maybe make some more money. We'll shoot it twice. Probably show up on two channels. And, you know, maybe one will make some money and one will uh, not make any money. All right. So we are drinking Monster over the side, and all right, folks. This video I wanted to talk to you all about safety bars. So, um, you know, nothing's better than having a spotter, especially a strong spotter. Okay. If you're up there, 300, 400, 500 pounds, safety bars, you know, plus a spotter is probably the best thing. Uh, how do I have this set up, right? Some of you wonder, is this safe what this guy's doing? Well, my chest, my nice big chest is higher than the safety bars. Unfortunately, my gut is also higher than the safety bars, right? But if I were repping, and we don't hit the, uh, the bar, and then I fail, um, you know, if you had a six pack, you probably want to roll it this way, right? But for those that don't have a six pack, um, you would have to roll it this way. Now, I can escape under this like so, all right? So no damage done except your ego, all right? Hopefully that was good. All right, folks, this video I wanted to talk about safety bars. Let me set this up. Um, so the goal, honestly, folks, is to put your safety bar right at chest level or above it, or excuse me, below it. Your neck and head should be under the safety bar. If you have a six pack, hopefully it's under the safety bar, right? So as I'm repping out and I fail, uh, if I had a six pack, I could roll it this way, okay? I don't have one. Um, so I'm forced to go towards my head and neck. Well, guess what? I can escape this way, okay? So um, that's that's the use of safety bars. Nothing beats having a spotter though, folks. All right, so there's two done. Um, yeah, I have these other safety bars too, but. So we'll let that go. And put this back. Now, we've screwed around a little bit get a little bit of warm-up. I'll tell you, uh, my shoulders have been aching lately, right? You guys probably, for those of you that actually watch the channel, which is probably all five people consistently, but whatever, uh, and I might be one of those five people, you'll see, you know, I've been throwing up some heavy numbers on the shoulders. That is definitely affecting my bench press. Um, you know, Probably my triceps too, but the one thing that I am more competitive with people on is probably shoulder press anyways. Maybe, maybe you've been going. Um, all right, so we screw around with the bar. Now, since the last time I did this, I added, I don't think I got to add these in, but 
I've added a, another set of Cap 45s. Um, so you'll see two sets of, or two, yeah, two different sets or two pairs of Cat 45s. And I sent back one of the sets of Cerberus sleeves. Um, all right. So another interesting thing, folks, when you, you know, you watch working out uh, these videos, people talking about, you know, oh, if you didn't have those sleeves on or that sling, you'd be benching, you would be lucky if you bench 365. Well, yeah, at this point in my life, that is true. Um, I can't say it really, you should. I, um, I'm using that stuff so I can continue to lift heavy weights and continue to get stronger. Um, try and get back what I had, right? So, two years ago, I had, a little over two years ago, basically had two injuries that happened within months of each other. One was a hyperextension of my right elbow. Um, probably the second time I've done that. And this time it's really jacked me up. And the other is an injury at my shoulder trap area. So, both of those have caused me pain when I work out, right? Um, you know, I started using a fake slingshot, this uh, Saywans, which I only use this when I travel somewhere anymore, right? You won't see it used here. Uh, this thing, you know, probably gives you 5 to 10 percent boost in performance, but the whole point in using it really, folks, is not, not the boost in performance. It is to alleviate the shoulder pain that I feel. And in some regards, it actually helps you with your um, with your elbow too. Now, elbow, uh, so I've had some elbow pain. Can't lock the right elbow out so great. Still strong as fuck. But, uh, you know, the tendonitis bugs me, so to help that, I've got to, I've gradually put on different sleeves on the elbow, and uh, some of those, well, actually only one set I have, probably gives me kind of performance boost. Otherwise, they keep my elbow nice and tight, right? So, not feeling any elbow pain will help you push a little more um, and then oh what else so I had this bad fall in Cuba and we jacked up our wrist right hand as well right so um, that doesn't help either so hence why you'll see me wearing gloves at some point uh, one thing I did notice when I was able to bench heavy After that injury, um, so sometime between 20, late 2014 and a couple years ago, when I would go really heavy um, without gloves with wrist support or wrist supports in them, I would wake up with these shooting pains in my right freaking hand. So. And guess what? Those shooting pains have returned. And why have they returned? Because I'm lifting heavier weight. <laughs> right? So even though, even though I'm using a slingshot or a bench daddy, my body has to get the weight off the rack. Um, and so because of that, I still feel it, folks. No doubt that I feel it. Oh, let me tell you. Uh, so over here, 
you know we've been using we've been using this thing for warming up and lifting different types of weights. Um, need some weight on there, as a matter of fact. This thing, uh, getting your back warmed up good for bench day is always a good thing, in my opinion. Um, you know, if you can do pull-ups, if you're like Tall Man Jude and you can lift like 100 pounds on top of your body weight and then do pull-ups, ah, it's pretty amazing. But, uh, you know, it does not hurt to have a strong back, right? So, as we try to make you guys that watch the channel stronger, keep those things in mind, right? I am not just doing bench press. Now, on the channel, you might see a lot more pressing exercises because there ain't a whole lot of back shit I can do here at the house. Now, my favorite back exercise is the bent over row with a dumbbell. Um, and actually, well, take that back. My favorite exercise was the hammer strength, but I kind of outgrew that thing again. And without carrying 100 pound plates over to it, you only get five 45s on there. And there's just a pain in the ass to load, unload. It does give you chest support, back support, chest support, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's a good thing. But so I started going back to the bent over rows, make sure I wear a weight belt. And that's really, you know, that exercise, I don't think lat pull downs are is beneficial to uh, bench press, but I always kind of felt it was the, the dumbbell rows were more, but I could be wrong about that. So if you do both, then you get, you know, you get the benefit, obviously a big back, feet taper, all that looks great. And, you know, the stronger your back gets, um, you will notice your bench press go up in case you didn't know that. At least it should, right? Because when I bring this weight down, and I'm down here, I can use the back muscles to help with the initiation upwards. Man, Whew. shoulder hurts. Shoulder's hurting. So, Do about it. Either we work through it or we quit, right? And unfortunately, I'm not a quitter. I might be rather stupid, but I'm not a quitter. Now you will notice as I warm up with 225 that um, if I were to do this a second time at the other end of the exercise. <coughs> I'll be a lot smoother. I will do more reps. Okay. So this is about the point where probably time to put some gear on. At some point we'll put the the lowers on. I feel like I need a back belt already. So we got this cheap Chinese weight belt. Uh, you know, it honestly feels like about all the support I need. There's a difference between, there's kind of a funny story. So when I could bench over 400 pounds, um, who knows how perfect my form was. That's, you know, there's no video proof of anything. So, but uh, actually let's, I put the shirt over it only because I hate the way that goes and hits my tightens my shirt up. Um, but yeah, I used to not have strong abs, and now even though they look like they're big and fat, they're damn strong. But 
And so, I guess we'll get this camera going. Hopefully I'll pause some of these. Um, but as I used to have weaker abs, but everything else was stronger, <laughs> I uh, would have some issues there. And then my back's been an issue for as long as I can remember. So we would like to potentially max out today. I think I'm going to skip the, you know, I usually do a three, well, two, it was, what the hell was it, 275 for six, and 280, 285 for six, 300 for, maybe it was 295 for six, then 300 was five, 305 was five, and the 310 I only got four. Um, so, that's kind of how things have, have gone. Um, yeah. yeah, I don't think I'm ready to do the Larson things with any, uh, heavier weight. <laughs> oh, so eventually somebody will complain about the bench I use. Oh, that's too wide. That's too high off the ground. Blah, blah, blah. Um, this is not competitive weightlifting here, folks. This is just an old guy kind of showing you what he's using to get stronger what he's done to get stronger. Um, so, now, the last time we maxed out in competitive nature, I did, I think, 360. At the age of 48, 49. Had a personal trainer at the gym spot, male, female. I gotta say, you can't say I felt that comfortable that she was gonna save my ass. Um, she was pretty strong, but all the same. Okay. So we're just uh, a couple reps here, a couple reps on the next weight. You know, this is where I uh, kind of wish Tall Man Jude was here to, or Maximus, one of those two, uh, was here to mentor me, which is sad, all the weight I lifted in the past, and I feel like I need mentoring, but how to properly get myself going for the max out, right? I tend to do too many reps. Um, that, you know, good and bad with that, right? You know you're warmed up. You feel confident that you're probably going to be okay doing that weight and not screw something up. Um, now, if I were to jump to this, to 355, 360, I wouldn't feel so good, right? But if you get warmed up good enough, where do you jump to, you know? Um, so let's bang this out. We haven't put our elbow sleeves on yet. They're coming. Probably the next set. Actually, it feels a little heavy. <laughs> so, I, uh, this one video on my mind, one of my monetized channels, and I, I was doing. Uh, I said it was 275. I said uh, warm up reps, six warm up reps or whatever, right? 
people gotta make stupid comments like, like, oh, they sh that should be 20, 20 reps. Um, now the reality is, folks, you warm up however the hell you want. If you're young, you don't need to do all this shit, right? So, if you actually are watching this video and you're a young guy and you're like, wow, this guy reps too much, um, you know, hey, leave a comment. Love to know if somebody young is watching this channel, but. The thing is that the older you are, the longer it takes you to warm up, right? Now, if I had an elliptical, I could probably get myself warmed up pretty damn good. But I don't have an elliptical. And so we are, uh, unfortunately, not going to be getting warmed up very good that way, right? Like our internal temperatures warm. Uh, unfortunately, I'm getting warmed up this way. Oh, uh, you know what, folks? It's time for the lowers. Um, dang it. Yeah, every, and when we get above 275 and up, I have to protect myself a little more. All right, so pausing that camera. I'm going to leave you running. I don't think you guys can see me offset here. Or can you? I might be able to. I'll go further offset. I'll talk to you guys when we'll do it. But, uh, yeah, so we we have all these pieces of gear. You know, some people make comments, all that gear, and he doesn't know, doesn't know what to do with it, which is funny. Um, there were no clue, whatever, you know, it's just stupid shit. Just stupid shit to probably irritate me. And I sit there and think, you know, I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, that person is way smaller than me. Um, which, who knows who it is, right? If you can't go into their channel and see what they actually look like. And there was somebody's channel I was checking out yesterday. Um, you know, you get you get these channels recommended yet. So one was a female. She was, oddly enough, more subscribers than me, but her view count suck, her video. And it's more... Her videos are more, hey, look at me. Look at my rip back. Oh, I've got some biceps. You know, even for a girl, impressive. I don't remember her name. White girl, American. But, uh, you know, not like an elite athlete. She's uh, got some potential, right? But I wasn't really... I was I checked out a couple of her videos, but then I noticed this one guy had been commenting on our videos, and she's like, "Thank you for your support." And I realized I, then I went and checked out his site, and I'm like, "This dude looks scrawny, you know." And there he is, putting up 400 on the uh, 405 bench press. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" <sighs> Some people can just do it, you know. Some people can't. It's been a while since I did it. I'm trying to get back there. I mean, equipped 435 is, you know, kind of a joke, right? As far as uh, what that is equal to raw. Because, uh, you know, I'm only raw 350, 360. So, when I get up to equip, you know, 450, 500, then I'll be like, okay. Yeah. All right. So still warming up. And we'll put elbows, elbow sleeves on next. 
But oh, getting back to that channel. So the girl never supported that guy, but he spends time supporting her. And I'm like, she doesn't realize how beneficial it is to support other people and leave comments. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> That was a little more than a warm up, but I got one more in, I think. We wore ourselves out. So, I think it's time for three plate banging, folks. I think we'll put, I feel pretty good about our spotter bars. I think we'll put the collars on. Um, it's not a weight that I can't handle. Um, now, I was going to say the VTX plates. We <laughs> I have all these Olympic plates, right? Uh, five sets of 45s plus uh, another set of bumpers. So if you hear me say I got six sets. Realize five steel, one rubber bumper. Oh. And I think I've I sort of decided I was going to separate. This side was going to be all cap. Then the decline is going to be miscellaneous. VTX over on the um, incline. But now I only have 145 on the VTX, so I'm going to have to borrow a guest plate because I really I don't like to go 35, 10. I like to remove it with, a, with another 45 pound plate, right? So you'll probably see me do that at some point. Um, Okay, so we'll use the collars. And then I will use the elbow. It's time for elbows. Now, some of you probably would like to see me continue without elbows, but whatever. Not happening. Now, these are a combined 8 ounce collars. Pretty light. Maybe adds a half pound, right? So we could say we're doing 315.8. Or three, yeah, three fifty, three fifteen point five. I should have, uh, I should have grabbed the eight ounce collars and just say I'm doing three sixteen. People be like, oh, what do you mean? Those are eight point seven ounce collars, a piece, right? Whew. Now I could put. I could put a microwave on there. Now I think about it. Um, and get it to get it to exactly. Now I should do that. That would be it exactly. Um, oh wow! Maybe I don't have to buy a couple of there. Yeah. So we can put that on here and just be like, yep. Yeah. I did 316 today. And then people will be like, huh? How'd you do that? Oh, there's a micro collar on there. I don't even think you can see it. Let's see if I can see it. No, I probably can't see it. Yeah. You can't see that. <laughs> um, but, uh, can't put it on the inside. All right, screw it. We're going to put it on. You guys saw me micro weight. Now, I, uh, you know, I waste a lot of money on shit. Which sucks. We have thought about buying, you know, more weights. And so I just bought a bunch of cap two and a half pound plates. I think I did it this morning. Um, 
So when I when I use the signature fitness, I can just psh, another two and a half, and those be those will be on the cap. Um, they'll be on the cap weight tree, and so that part will be good, right? We'll be able to do our when we work our forearms. I can just add. I can just add the additional um, two and a half pound plates. But that said. I thought about, um, let's see, let's see good angle. Yeah, almost. I thought about getting one and a half pound plates just because I don't have any. And so, you know, maybe, maybe we'll do that. Would it be beneficial? Probably not. Um, <laughs> no, in some ways it is, right? You go, uh, Like this thing, if I just want to do, if I said I want to do um, 318, 318.5, put one and a half pounds on each side. Uh, what I have found, obviously making videos that the, uh, that straight up, you know, recognizable weights, 315, gets more views than 3, 316, but 405, you know, gonna get more views than 410, 405, or 415. Uh, so, uh, today, when we get the bench day out, we're gonna try and rep, do some reps with 405. That'll be a lot of fun, I think. All right, we'll be up for quite a while. Um, now, I think I'm going to put a little bit more effort than just saying, oh, I warmed up. I did a warm-up set. I think four, four reps would be nice on this weight. So, yeah, I have all my gear on. Hate to say it. All right, folks, this is 316. There is a microweight on there. Okay, just so you know.
filled with the power oh, shit. So, of course, the profile camera missed the 315 for four. Oh, my bitch. And, oh, guess what? Damn. So, this camera, this camera missed the 275. It missed the 315. And this camera is still going, so I think it caught, I think it caught it. You guys ask, you know, why I got so many camera angles? Well, there's why. As we continue to F up with our recordings, um, which sucks. It does suck when you miss freaking video. I wonder if, you know, put this one down on the ground over here. Yeah. Uh, well, almost a crouch view, but not quite. Okay. Okay, so, there we go. I have to edit all this crap together. Uh, so we'll get, we'll put the microwaves away. I will, I'll use the collars. Official weight potential is 335.5. And I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna try and do a couple reps because then I'm just wearing myself out. But if it goes, the first rep is easy as shit, then maybe we do the second one because, hey, guess what? We haven't done that in a while. We used to be able to do six of these, I think. Yeah, so actually it's six for 340 with no, additional shit on. Um, so, now the other day, folks, with the Bench Daddy, I did a 355 incline. That was, I was impressed, I gotta say. I was impressed. So, this sucks. The only video that I could pull my I don't know, I might not have a video to do of the last one, last two lifts for a uh, YouTube short. Dang it. Oh well, that's where it goes. Alright, so eventually we're gonna we're gonna max out here. Um, and then from there we're going to uh, we're gonna put the bench daddy Mad Dog, or excuse me, Slingshot Mad Dog on, do 320 rep out, okay? I want to get 10 reps of that. I've done 317 for 10, I've done uh, 310 for 11, I've done 315 for 10, but we have not got 320 for 10, so that'll be the goal, alright? Like I said, We'll either do one or two reps of this, and yeah, now if you guys don't start with the comments about the gear, I'm going to get a goddamn singlet on, extra, extra tight, and I might just, I have to, Stuff a big old sausage in there, right? <laughs> That'd be funny as shit, actually. Like, was it some of the metal bands the '80s used to do? All right, folks, here we go. Three, three fifteen banging, and three thirty-five banging, three thirty-five point five banging. Here we go. We got. Let me make sure the camera's rolling. You're rolling. You're rolling. All the cameras need to get this. I would like to get a little wider grip, but because of the left shoulder, it's not going to be possible, probably. Alright. Might have got two, but I don't want to fuck myself up. 
for the next set. So I thought the bar speed felt like it was going quick. There was no hesitation. Um, and that's what you want. So I'll bang out hopefully 355 on the next one. Normally I would probably jump five more, but I think we're ready for it. We've been hitting them heavy, heavy weights. Um, now, the chest ready for it. Kind of the, the one question I would have. Um, is the chest ready for it? Uh, I met a nice couple at the gym today. Um, one of them, the female, was incredibly fit. The guy, kind of like like me, but not as muscular. Uh, I saw him take a video of her. I was, I should have asked him, "Hey, do you, <laughs> you guys have a YouTube channel? It'd be good to meet some people here local." to do the same kind of nonsense I do or something similar. Keeping the same group that I have, but adding to it and hopefully adding adding to those people for more subscribers, more views, whatever. Um, God, I feel like putting the pad on the, uh, the bar, but I know if I do that, if I put the squat pad on there, that somebody will, you know, <sighs> That wasn't a good lift. You're cheated. So it's like, okay, we won't do that. Oh, but yeah, I'm getting back to a couple. Um, so I'm thinking they would absolutely meet the perfect um, couple to work out with, right? I'd probably be allowed to actually bring both of them here versus you know I couldn't bring just the female um, I could you know the guy I could be buddies with uh, you know two of me uh, maybe you know one of me 25% weaker is not going to get a whole lot more views um, myself and somebody stronger would add I'm sure but uh, myself him and his woman that could turn into something awesome. But for now, we'll table that because I don't think that's going to be allowed anytime. Uh, unless I just say, hey, I'm going to invite some people over into the weight, the weight slayer gym. <sighs> but it would be good, you know, have the occasional guest. Guest work out, see what they do, you know. Health, you know, I find somebody, hey, you want to max out? Bring it down, you know. We'll make some videos out of you. Um, we'll make a long video. Maybe we'll make some shorts. If I can find somebody that can lift at least as much as me. And so, yeah, you know, if you were at um, Planet Fitness and you're using the hammer strength, this would look like what another, you'd have to put another 25 pounds on that Smith machine, which would be another 10 and two and a half on each side. So basically, that would be equivalent, but then the machine um, helps you stabilize a little better. And sometimes you can actually lift more than you can um, is I think I did I think I did three I think 390 or 395 I don't remember but um, within the last year on a Smith machine with this cheap is either this cheap Savon bringing this out again band 
or um, another one, the gray one, which is a little, a little better. Um, we used that and did 390 with no spotter, which might have been stupid, but that's why I didn't go heavier. I was like, brought it down. I'm like, yeah. but it's taken me, it's taken me forever to do a Mad Dog 385. You know, 385. I've not done 390 yet. Um, I did 380, 381 with a spotter, and 385 with just spotter bars. Now this closes the advantage on the, the Mad Dog if I get this. And also, depending on the bar speed, folks, uh, might determine whether we do. Use these up a second. Might determine whether I do a, a three. Um, Let's say 358. I don't know that I will go 360. But then you'll want, you know, I always want to run. I've got 360. Some people believe in, you know, working out till failure. I don't really like failing. I'd rather see the weight go up and then next time add a couple pounds to it. So here we are adding five pounds since we last maxed out. And I gotta say, I feel pretty good. Feeling pretty good, so we should be all right with this weight. Elbow actually feels really damn nice today. Like this had been the first time I could have benched this whole time without the sleeves. Um, now this, these sleeves may give me uh, one, two percent. You know, keep that in mind. There, are, you know, if I had somebody to put them on me, yank them all the way up my arms, that would get the most out of them because they are, uh, I think, like three ply. But when they're down, when it's down in this position, it's definitely helping. Um, does it help get off the chest? I don't know. It's kind of helped a little bit. I didn't have these, I don't think, when I did the 350. Maybe I did. Okay, here we go. What do we have our gloves, lowers, and sleeves on. And I'm gonna go pinky on the ring, all right? It's a little wider. All right. Here you go, Grave Strong. A little more, hopefully a little more distance between you and me now. Whew, wouldn't mind playing that back, but it'll take forever. So, 355.5, we'll call that. And I think, I don't think we have much more. Yeah, I could put 357 on there, get it, or 356, maybe 58, maybe 360, but... I'm gonna save something. All right. So now, folks, it is a mad a dog time. We are getting warmed up. Um, getting warmed up. I can remember where I put the slingshot mad dog. So just so you know, not sponsored by any of these companies. They probably would laugh at me if I ever asked for um, free shit out of them, but I'll tell you it's coming, right? Wake Slayer Channel is going to um, kick ass. Take some names, even though we gotta relocate to a different gym for a while. Now we'll come back to the weight slur gym. But you hopefully will see me in a commercial type gym and hopefully able to film myself and giving you guys the same 
great content. But I think we'll move, we're gonna move the profile camera because guess what? That big VTX plate is in the way. All right, so where are we going after this? We're gonna do, I wanna get a good set of Mad Dogs in. Mad Dog, I think, gets, I get to work the chest a little bit more than I'm gonna get with the Bench Daddy, okay? Bench Daddy is so stiff, 315 won't even touch. Um, it might now, after I've used it a couple times. And I think I might have noted I was gonna send it back, but because we can't use the double ply, because double ply is just too damn, um, what's the word, too, too stiff, yeah, too stiff. And single ply is, is a little, a little too, um, Cause me to be a little too narrow gripped. But reality is, you know, though I can go wide way out here with 225 and bench, you know, a shit ton of reps. When you put 315 on there, your wrist is feeling all that weight. And so going way out there, even though you could possibly with a bench daddy, I could probably get 20 reps of 315 if I could get it to touch. I'd also fuck up my wrist severely. So, you may never see us do that. I'd have to come in closer, and that's gonna wear me way out, because then I'm not getting any chest benefit, especially at the top, right? So, we're bringing it down, we're, we're out wide, we're getting more chest, getting more stretch, and probably more kinetic energy from the sling, and so I'm able to do more, but my wrist is, at an awkward angle and it's got a ton of weight on it. So we have to come in closer where it's not at an awkward angle and then we get less chest and we're gonna get less reps. That's the way it goes though. So uh, I'm feeling good folks. I mean, you know, yeah, I only went up five pounds, but what the hell. Um, you know, and that guy, that uh, after I did the bench daddy for whatever, and he said, "Oh, without that gear, you could only you'd be lucky if you got 365." Well, suck my dick. And you're right, I only got 355 today because I didn't have a didn't have a spotter and wasn't willing to go um, drop the bar on the spotter bars. Call me a pussy, but um, we don't need to get injured. Now, yeah, 360, probably, I, that was close, right? I know 360 I could get. On the right day, maybe I could have got 365. Um, I was pretty stretched out, good, you know, warmed up. Kind of a shame I am not willing to try more, but what, what does that prove, you know? Yeah, if you take it slowly, there's gonna there's plenty of opportunities for a 360, 365, 370, and hopefully back up to 400 in the months to come. Um, you know, what do I what would I have done if I got if if I was able to get 405 now, right? I would keep trying to push, 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 um, which would be so smart. So we'll just go with where we're at, folks, and be happy with it. All right, put our gloves on nice and tight. Get our sleeves on. Uh-oh, you know what? I can't use the server of sleeves with the bench daddy. That sucks. Forgot about that, folks. Or with the, with the uh, slingshot mad dog. I sent the other server of sleeves back. And those are the ones that I can actually um, wear with that because these Cerberus go way up on my arm. So, oops. Well, that's why I was going to keep them. I forgot about that. But these do not give me any kind of performance boost um, that I'm aware of. All right. 
two. And I bought a um, Markdell slingshot um, full bore, which I don't really care for too much. It doesn't, I'm not getting a lot of benefit out of using it. And, you know, it's a good, two, probably a good 225 or 275, or, but 315 and higher is, doesn't seem to be too beneficial. All right, folks, here we go. We just had a hell of a two, uh, three good, great sets, in my opinion. And we're going to go ahead and try and bang out 10, a 320. Go in middle finger on the bar. That's a middle finger to all the haters out there. <laughs> difference in 320 and 317 or 320.5 all right so last week I think when I imagined seven after a full workout well Is uh, his first day we used to try out the our first day we really tried out the Nautilus commercial incline. So because this weight does not touch. I think I did 355 for eight. Um, and the goal was going to be a 360, a 380, and a, either a 400 or 405. Um, but we'll have a better idea when we do when we do our 380 set. You know, how many reps do I get? Well, I get at least six. I'm gonna get at least six of 380. And then it makes sense to do a four or five because you might just be able to get three or four. If I only get like two or three of 380, then I might we might not do anymore. I gotta save something for tomorrow too. That's the other thing affecting the incline bench workouts the next day is how freaking tired I am afterwards. Mm. Turn out some boxes. So the next set when we do it will be 360 bench daddy. Um, these things up for a bit. I'm just gonna have all kinds of freaking work for me to do. We'll have the server sleeves on. All I can think about is the fact that I don't want extra chores. So, I don't know how good our views are. Um, Oh, that's perfect. 
There we go. Okay. So, I'm not sure what channel I will release the three view at once. Um, one, the best thing about that is all the views are synced, but unfortunately, they're almost looking at the same exact view, which is kind of maybe a little stupid. I don't know. <laughs> I should have. Uh, let me see here. I need a longer USB cable so that we can put this other camera in a different spot, I think. And maybe if we do this deal, uh, we can get even closer to the action. Okay. So that, at least the main view is ever so slightly and the other two views are a little off. Whew. Now like I said the elbow feels really good today which for weeks we've been in a lot of pain so um, So I've been working on another area of the basement to add equipment. Maybe realizing the best thing to do with the, with the incline might be to move it to another room and have both the seal and a hip thruster bench in the same area and you know physically move the hip thruster or the seal bench or the hip thruster into position and move them back out. Um, they are two of the next pieces of equipment I want to buy. The seal bench would be $300 and it would allow me to lie on my back with a barbell and do, you know, almost like doing bent over rows. Um, better form, I would say. And it's, you know, instead of just doing a single dumbbell, doing them both. Now, reality is though, it's going to be kind of heavy and I might feel like I'm crushing my chest. Might be a way, way to use that. Lie down and do one arm at a time, I don't know. Probably not. Without being able to grab hold of something. So that thing's like 300 bucks. Never seen it on sale. Then there's a hip thruster bench on Amazon. It's not a mechanical one, it's just, you know, a fixed bench. That is uh, 279 right now with a $20 coupon. I've seen it with $40 coupon. That's when I should have bought it. But uh, we'll add that. Um, and honestly, I could probably put those both on the finished side of the basement and hide them in the washer dryer room or drag them in there on the dolly. Um, those are two pieces of equipment I'm definitely thinking about buying. If I could get a hold of a used lap machine, um, or, uh, quite honestly folks, I don't know, once again, the ceiling might not be high enough, but it, uh, we should buy a, a, a better power rack. That would get two exercises to be able to be performed better. One is this one with a sturdier bench. The other would be military press. Um, so they're a little deeper, they're fatter, etc., etc. Can handle more weight. Like a hammer strength one, probably sent me back a couple grand. Funny thing is, I saw, and you'd have to have a U-Haul truck, but I saw somebody selling like six uh, freaking power cages. I want to say three thousand a piece. If I just knew somebody that that you know would say, "Hey, I'll buy half of them. You buy the other half." So only come with 1500 I want to come up with 3000 then it's your problem selling the other two off my problem selling my other two realistically I might I might have just kept two power cages in here um, and just left one set up for uh, shrugs and military press and the other permanently set up for bench press I don't know be kind of stupid 
they take up a lot of room and they're they're big. But uh, and it probably bigger than the ceiling is in here. So had we put in uh, one foot higher ceilings, you know, there's a lot a lot more opportunity for things could have did in here. So yeah, power cage, a better power cage probably should be number one. And it doesn't mean this is going away because we have the belt squat as well that I, I hate to, you know, with all the accessories, I, I think I probably can just find a spot for it. Figure out, you know, some exercise I can still use it for. Now, if we had a, uh, if I would build a deadlift platform, um, assuming you can just use plywood, then hell, this guy could be, uh, you know, would be a little better for that. Now, the other thing I really want, well, back, a couple back exercises, either hammer strength, plate loaded uh, row and pull down, or a lap machine, um, and then I continue to use dumbbells for the rows, or the seal. Um, and then the cable, the dual uh, cables that go in the corner. Those would be awesome. That'd be awesome to have that, but I can't imagine how hard that would be to get in here. It'd have to be completely disassembled. And that is probably just not, I don't know if that's, you know, the way to go with those. So we may never have something like that. It'd be easier if I get the workshop up or, you know, hey, I add on to the garage, put another spot in, and then that goes in the garage and a couple other pieces of equipment. So there's two places for the gym. Unfortunately, they wouldn't be both together, right? So I brought up, I brought up to my wife, I want to add another uh, extra car, possibly instead of doing, you know, to the garage, extra spot, however you would say, expand the garage, um, versus a outdoor workshop. Now the outdoor workshop would be awesome because we could fully equip that with like a real freaking gym and if I could get this channel super popular or my other channel uh, this other channels is monetized you know figure out one way to make money off of it. So, I don't know, I'm not sure how we would do that, but I would love, 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 love to have all that stuff. All right, here we go, folks. We screwed around long enough. Bench Daddy, um, last week we did 355 for eight reps, and my goal would be eight reps with this. Now, we might be a little tired from maxing out, but when you try it, <coughs> okay, How that thing just blasts off your chest. And if that was double ply. Alright, so I took a little wider grip. I think my wrist is a little funky. So, we will just go, uh, with, uh, 
with that. Now, you go, you have to watch the long portion of this video, not the short, but um, you know, the reality is that I got a hell of a tricep work out there with heavy weight. Bench daddy, obviously, is not getting my chest a lot of a workout, but uh, it's helping propel that weight up. One day I'll get some chains, folks. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able to do a whole lot with those. They may be better for my shoulder, but. You know, when I did the 355, we'll have to watch the, the video. Um, I'll pause this one for a moment. We don't know how... Oh, i got to get my breathing back, folks. Sorry. We do not know, so we watched the video, how smoothly it was going up, whether it was going up straight, um, or if it was good speed to it. You know, if it turns out that locking out really looks like a problem, this is gonna, this kind of work is gonna help it, right? Chains would help. <clears throat> now I came into that pretty warmed up. Um, so that was good. And Other than that, yeah, I don't know. <sighs> Be good to come back from my long ass trip. Like, having gotten back closer to the 400 Club versus where we are now. I'd like to see. I don't know, it's hard to. You know, we've been putting on five, or putting back five, ten pounds on our on our uh, flat bench. The reality is, I think all this time I could have been doing this on the decline, you know, the same weights for the past few months. So now, if I go back to decline, I'm going to be a little weaker at it. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. 375 plus two and a half, so 380.5. Whew. And like I said, if we can get, if we can get four to, well, let's say, I can get six. If I get six of 380, we will, should we do 400 or should we do 405? The easiest thing to do is just put another 10 on there. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah, because I actually I can't get to the VTX. The other VTX 45, it's behind the laptop. Um, Maybe I could. Or I can put the balance from 45 on there. I think we'll just we'll do exactly 400. I told myself I wasn't going to go over 405 until I could easily do 405. Right. So if I stop at 400, then we have we have uh, achieved that. And I think last week after I went heavy, that's when I came back down to 355. And did the eight. So, if we did 360 for eight or nine, um, yeah, that just kind of proves that. I don't know what it proves, but we can fling a whole lot of weight with the bench daddy on. And that's that's interval. That's a little bit more than what I maxed, right? So <laughs> you could say, "How? Oh, that's a good video." How many more reps can I do with the bench daddy versus my, you know, 155, <laughs> 355 raw? 
and I just throw this video 360 times 8, 7, 8, 9, whatever. So that is an extreme amount of boost, right? Nah, it felt good though. That was honestly, that last set, that felt like the best set I've done today. And it's like, maybe it's an ego thing. Maybe it's like, wow, look at me. Look at me, folks. Look how much weight I lifted. All right, going back to the home gym thing. So, we have, after I clear some things out of this basement, we have room for two or three decent sized pieces of equipment, I think. And let me actually look in this other room. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it, but uh, I gotta figure out how to get a lap machine in, I think, because then I can just blow off back day at, at Planet Fitness or at a commercial, you know, another gym that I go to. Um, we could, we could buy one of those cheap ones from Amazon. I don't know how good those are and the amount of weight I can lift. I'm not feeling super confident they're gonna hold together. Now, I thought about getting a fixed shoulder bench, but is that even worth it, you know? Would that just be a huge freaking mistake? Okay, we got to start recording now. You know, if I got a fixed shoulder press, is there a way to do something better with my dumbbell area? Um, you know, kind of move in on that territory a little more. <laughs> so we have a flat bench over there. We have the utility bench. We also have the uh, hex bar for squat or for shrugs and um, deadlifts. But obviously, you guys haven't seen me use that at all. There is really no other room in the big big area here. Um, let me take this. You know, no other room really for another piece of equipment in here, unless I can, I can figure something out. Uh, actually, that's not a true statement. We could. Well, we can get one more thing in here. I think the decline bench can slide down a little bit. It gets a little hazardous, but it could slide down. And then the this guy can either go the other direction, or we could put a fixed military gear maybe if, if the decline was in a different spot. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. And if I could, if I would buy a, you know, here's, an, you know, here's another idea actually. If I were to buy a better dumbbell rack, wider one, which I think I can only buy a four foot versus a three foot, but I get the majority of my big weights on it and then move the little crappy weights to a different area. In that corner, we could possibly get a, a fixed military press in there. But what you know? What do I get with that? I mean, you can do that in the power cage. Just doesn't make a lot of sense, right? I mean, why, why waste time with that when I can already get a pretty good workout in? Um, we need to buy something that we just don't have, right? So that brings us back to. Lat pull down, we don't have. 
We don't have a uh, gripper machine, uh, which I'd love to get. We don't have the four-way neck. Oh, holy cow, folks. There you go. That's probably the next piece of gear we're going to buy is the four-way neck machine. If I can find one at a decent price. Right now, they're all somehow have shot up over a thousand bucks where I used to be able to find them. Much better prices. There's a Titan, cheap Titan one. I don't have a lot of confidence in liking that though. And wow, folks, I was going to do this without my sleeves. That might be a mistake. Oh gosh. Oh, fat guy. All right. So as I say, we're not trying to get you guys six pack abs on this channel. Um, I'm just working on getting stronger. Yeah, I think that's my, that'll be my two objectives, really. Um, how much will that set me back? You know, I think close to 3,000, maybe. 2,000, 3,000 range. What does that add to the channel, though? Um, you know, lap machine will definitely add to the channel, especially if I got my back, if I lose some weight and get my back shredded. Um, those are always nice videos, especially because it, you know, most gyms you can't just take your shirt off. <laughs> so we'll do that. Um, I don't know when we'll get leg stuff. I think that's that's a future thing when we get uh, get a new facility in. <laughs> so, folks, uh, we have. 380 on here and we're going to try and get uh, six hopefully okay Squirrely. You guys see that shit? She got a little squirrely on me. I don't like that. Um, you know, it's one thing to do that, but maybe not go so fast. A little more control than I had. Um, and maybe uh, occasionally do these with pauses at the bottom. up. I'm probably getting some spring action. <sighs> now, one thing I'm wondering, oh, we lost the camera, folks, damn it, is if I'll, uh, if I'll take this with me on my long trip. Obviously, have a spotter. So it didn't. Oh my. I pooped. That was a hell of a set, folks. So I released some videos of me going to get this incline bench, you know. Not getting a whole lot of views, but whatever. My 410 warm up rep got uh, <laughs> 2100. Of course, somebody's like, you know, like I was, a one rep is not a warm up, but if you're going much heavier and hitting, you know, you gotta see the way Larry Wheels does it. Hits a weight, one rep, hits another weight, one rep, hits another weight, one rep. Just keeps going up, you know. Uh, that's kind of what we did towards the uh, after we did. What did we do? Well, we did 315 for four, but uh, after that, and then I think this week I did more at 275, but we didn't really get that on film. Whew. Okay. 
So this one dude, and I can't remember his name. Uh, oh, Dual Dual Shock, Dual Shock. Sounds like he used to play video games. Uh, I don't know if he subscribed. He watched one of my videos, or a couple of my videos, made a couple comments. Now I check this shit out. He's a uh, man compared to me. He's like 100. Is he 100 pounds lighter? I don't know. 70 pounds lighter, 100 pounds, whatever. But, uh, you know, banging similar weights. Um, he did a 405 double ply with this thing. And like I said, I can't use it for double ply, but he did 16 reps. And I was like, oh my gosh. Now, you know, one thing about the Bench Daddy, if you have it sized right, you'll perform even better with it. Does that does that add up to anything when it comes time to uh, you know max out? And that's that's questionable, but um, and if you're using it, you know, with 405 and doing 16 reps, you're built, you're getting something out of it. I won't say you're not getting anything. Um, your body is really getting used to heavy ass weight in some places, right? Like, um, more out the lockout position. Getting the weight off of the pins, like, you know, if you can't even come close to benching 405, why would you ever try and get 405 off the pins, right? So, some of that stuff you're getting gains, um, and it will help. But, you know, 16 reps worth doing, I don't know, that's questionable. But, you know, on this channel we do a lot of rep outs, right? 225, we've done two, you know, 275, 315 rep outs with it. Um, I can't even remember how many reps we got with the, oh yeah, did I, I got 10 with 315. Uh, so yeah, we'll release this video hopefully today. And we'll see how it goes. I'm checking, I, you know, I have all these channels. I'm checking my views. They're not, not a very good day for views, folks. Not very good. Um, I should have got a uh, Nick Saban return video. So one of my buddies who never watches these long videos, he puts up some stupid shit in there on his channel for shorts. Some of the stuff, but then he's got some real good stuff. I got a game channel that I pretty much am not bothered with lately. Um, feels like it's just died off totally. And I've been I've been putting my gaming videos on a different channel just to get uh, more action. <laughs> get more action on it. Uh, all right, so we gotta we gotta upload that last video. Um, I'm curious how how far into it it got before it died. So I threw C three twenty on there. So it must have did. It's like the very end of the video. It must have jumped up to the next. Okay, here we go. Three twenty. This was with a bench dad, or not the mad dog. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now nine looked easy. I think that, you know, that you feel like the gas is building up. And what did I go to after that? Oh, it was 360, right? Yeah. 
So it's kind of a bad angle to make a YouTube short out of, but at least you can see the weight. And I can't call it raw because everybody's like, oh, you have elbow sleeves on. Can't see the belt in the video. <laughs> Okay, it went up, you know, relatively easy. So I'm going to go ahead and get this loading. I wish people would actually pay for the numbers only. Yeah. And be like, hey, here you go. I didn't even take my shirt off for the numbers only. Thing. All right, so that's going. Um, I think we'll try. We'll try and get capture this 400 video. That's you know interesting angle, right? So the triceps feeling a little bit tired. Elbows. I can feel the elbow feels a little unhappy. <coughs> Yeah, that's a whole lot of fucking weight. Don't let people kid you on that. Even with a slingshot, it's still a lot, or a uh, bench head, it's still a lot of weight. Still gotta lift all the fucking weight off, right? You know, I wish we could tighten this up, but yet, still catch all of the weight plates. So the only thing I don't like about all these tens on here is, you know, a little less control, I think, when, if it gets squirrely. But it'll work. Oh, yeah. So we, of course, in this video, wasted a lot of time talking about our home gym and what we want to do with it. Um, The yeah, reality is I'm gonna I'm gonna disappear for a while. We're going to um, save as much of my monetization money from my monetized channels. Try not to buy too much new gear. I'm probably gonna lose the amount of views that I'm gonna have. We're gonna crap out, and we're gonna you know slowly not make any money per month, but at least we didn't spend any. And then come back. I'll buy I'll buy all that equipment. And we'll, uh, actually, as long as I keep making videos, uh, I've got, I've got a lot of videos to release. Um, and I think over the next, you know, whatever amount of time I have left here before I go on my long trip, I've got to make as many videos as I can and just have them ready to upload. Um, so you'll see some travel videos mixed in. I think even on the Weight Slayer channel, we will mix in some, uh, travel videos and that'll be you know a little ridiculous probably but it's all the same maybe pick up some new viewers now my one channel that I have that I throw some cat videos on that one's gonna be a little tough because it's it is so close to being monetized I think we have enough watch hours 
when, well, I know this channel has enough watch hours. That channel, I'm not sure. Um, but it also, ha that one has almost a thousand subscribers where this one's stuck at 760. And if we keep getting 40 subscribers a month, um, we're going, it's going to take six more months. Um, and that, that kind of sucks, but that also gives us a chance to become a stronger channel. Now, unlike some of my channels, I can't just throw two hour uh, video game videos on there that maybe people watch and, and boost. Um, that's what I've you know, done on some of my channels. I'm like, yep, yeah, we'll just throw some video game footage, two hours, and get my watch hours way up, right? Um, that could, you know, potentially do that here. Matter of fact, maybe I will. What are my other hobbies, gaming? And then I'll, I'll do some two hour videos, a bunch of them, and try and get uh, the watch hours faster. That might be something to consider. <laughs> And once you get that 4,000 hours, you got to maintain that over the previous year, right? And luckily for me, on this channel and the other channel, I've gotten them in about 90 days. So I don't have any doubt that over the course of the year, we'll be well over 4,000, but still got to maintain it. All right, so on the main camera... We will, of course, do the pump check at the end of this. All right, folks, I think it's time. So, um, make sure our cameras are going. Don't kid yourself, this is a lot of fucking weight. It might, you know. Is this recording? So yeah, all my channels, I'm going to have to drop a lot of crap on them um, and have them in unpublished so that we can be good to go. Um, yeah, so 400 pounds, um, barbells real, plate, weight plate, right? 345s. 410s, a two and a half and a half inch or half pound worth of uh, colors. Bench Daddy, we just did 380 for, I don't know, six to eight, maybe more. Um, 380.5 actual weight. I don't know what we'll do here, but we don't, we have spotter bars, all right, folks. So we're going to do this at home, this much weight, have spotter bars at least. Preferably, you know, you would want um, actual two people spotting on this kind of weight, unless you got third wheels, which I don't have. Okay. Huge difference, folks, in how 380 and 405 or 400 felt as far as control. Um, that got a little squirrely, a little dangerous. You notice I did have the collars on. 
because of the safety bars. Normally I would not have collars, so I could dump the weight, but uh, whew. yeah, I did not like that. I did not like that. All right. So, should we be done? Is the question. I think we are. That that fully taxed my body. Um, so, four hundred. At least three reps. That might have been four, but the second I hit the freaking thing. Now, why did I lift that off where I did, right? To get the power to get that off the bar, for me it almost had to be in line with how I was going to press it. And, you know, because of that, I hit the damn thing. Couldn't get far enough away. That's additional reason to have a spotter so they can hand you the weight um, instead of. We hit that pin right there. All right. So, I'm gonna pause this until we, oh fuck. Did we, we didn't even record that. But of course, I did not catch the 400 on this camera. Dang it. Oh well. All right, so. Where is the uh, the floor camera's portrait, though? Thank God. It must have caught it. Ugh! And we kill that one. So I have one camera for sure, or two cameras for sure that would caught that one. One landscape. But let's let's take a let me take a, a look at this, um, and then we'll shut everything down. Okay, here we go. So I got one, two, three. Four. Okay. So we had to stop at four. Um, Alright. Well, this is what it is, folks. You know? Four is not, is not that bad. Um, in the grand scheme of things. So I'll have two... One camera I can see, the other can't. Now, I still have to fix the damn carpet in here. All right. Let's, uh, I like this camera a little closer, because the further away we are. Now, I do have a light on in the background, but actually today, the lighting is working for me. Um, you know, trying to find the perfect spot which appears to be right there, okay? For the right arm. Now the left arm, I have to come over to this side. And shoulders do not look as good. But I at least can flex my tricep. All right, so let's uh, finish this off. Um, We'll have the, tomorrow's going to be inclined, and we'll, uh, we'll have to figure out what to do here. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting because I, uh, I'm just not sure what we should do here for that. We're gonna have to move the cameras. Um, 
Um, and that's all I'm doing tomorrow, folks. And, well, I'll go to Plant Fitness, do my my cardio, my abs. Continue to, you know, funny thing, this stomach is pretty damn solid. Um, it's just big. So if you ever seen Eddie Hall photos of how big his tummy is, he eats a lot, right? He's expanded that stomach, just like I have a lot of muscle in there, but. Uh, where he was able to actually get what looked like a six pack. I still have a layer of fat over it, so is what it is. Um, all right, so we missed a lot of footage on the main camera because I paused. I need to remember not to do that except for the fact that I didn't want to get my self changing in my lowers um, on camera. And, but, where were the highlights today, folks? 355 PR, one rep. We did 360 for at least eight reps, if not nine. We did 380 for at least six reps. We did 400 for four reps. We could have did more, except we hit the damn pins. Um, I wasn't that impressed with the uh, Mad Dog Slim Shot. Um, we only got nine of 320, 320.5 to be exact. So that kind of sucked. But watching the video back, it was like, oh, nine went up easy. You just, um, we were a little fatigued. So, you know, maybe next time. Now, had I have planned this out better, maybe it would be better for you know, how many reps I would have got. Um, probably need more of a warm up tomorrow and tomorrow will be Friday I don't know if I'm going to I could do this first and then go to plant fit I guess it depends on how early I wake up so it was good good work you know, I didn't do I didn't do any um 20 rep sessions, right? Didn't do any 220. You know, wouldn't be a bad idea to finish this off with more and more set, but uh, I'm so pooped, I don't really want to put 225 on there. Uh, maybe I should, you know. I do need to take the weights off. Um, but if we were to do a 225, um, you know, the question would be which thing would we use to do it with? But I'm definitely not doing it raw. Um, you know, we could do the bench daddy full bore. And obviously, you know, we're trying to, if we do this, we're trying to work not only uh, slow twitch, but fast twitch. And so, that would be the only benefit of this, um, would be for me to get that work in. So, maybe I'll do it. Work on our form a little. Yeah, I think if I buy I might buy another set of 45s. Uh -oh. Now why is that folks? You saw four reps of 400, and obviously I probably would've got four reps of 405 easy because I just needed to get the weight to myself easier. Um, we,
Okay. So, where was I at, folks? I don't know. Blue don't mind. 405, 425. Oh, no. So, to be honest with you, the 400 and plus, a little swirly, 380, I had a lot of control over, right? I think, I think finding a spot between 380 and 400 um, next time we do this. So, 400 wasn't that easy to get off the rat, the pins, and Definitely after I hit, it freaked me out, but uh, maybe we do a, maybe we do a, uh, whatchamacallit, um, three, ah, gosh, you know, the fact that 360 was so easy and 380 was so easy, next week we start, we start with that with 365. And then 385, uh, maybe I do 395 to follow up. That'd be the fun set. Um, until, until that feels easy. And we say, okay, 400, and then 405, and then, you know, from there, just trying to get used to that weight. And we may never feel that used to that heavy of a weight. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think that'll be smart. Because the other weights, we obviously needed a little more push, but, you know, going beyond that, I just don't think we need to. Alright, I'm going to put the weight belt back on. Um... What are we going to put on, folks? Should we do this without the low sleeves? I really hate to do that. For the sake of my... You know, if I do... So let me take the shirt off. Um, and then there. Just gets in there. Alright, yeah, elbow feels a little funky. We'll put the crappy elbow sleeves on. We'll do one more step just because I'm stupid. short. Alright, so we had a hell of a set, folks. Uh, Bench Daddy worked up to 400 for 4 and I hit the pin, so we we stopped uh, 4 reps because it you know, mentally screwed me up. I felt like I was going so strong that we had 5, 6 in us. Uh, before that, did 384 between 6 and 8 and did... Uh, I think seven to nine of 360. So we had a monster day on that aspect. Now we're just gonna rep out. Now this is the full bore, rarely ever used it. Um, and we're gonna, I think I'll put my weight gloves on actually. And I'm gonna take a wide grip and I gotta protect my wrist. Now, uh, the Mad Dog, it would be possible to get 30 plus reps. This is not as stiff. And we're not going to get the same out of it. So we're probably looking at 20 to 25. Then you can see I can actually move my arms around. Somewhat. Yeah, this thing is really... This is almost like my cheap... Uh, same ones. So I'm not recommending this one for really going heavy. Alright, here we go. We're going to go um, 
pointing finger, I think, almost to the ring. Or middle finger ring. <laughs> Some will complain about the extension or the lockout, but that was over 20. I think over 25. All right, that does it. I am freaking done. Wait, slayer out, folks. All right, so. That's a good, I think a good ending point. It's gonna hook us up on tomorrow's workout. But it was good. So, if I did as many reps as I felt like I did, we would probably turn that into a YouTube short. Um, Maybe I should watch the video so we know we're not surprised. I gotta change out of these smart belt lowers. I won't be taking these on my long trip, which is probably a shame, but. Okay, let us watch the replay. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Wow, way off my counting. I only got 26, folks. That sucks. <laughs> so, the difference between the mad dog is uh, about five reps, and that is considerable. All right, so shut this one down. I got to bring a USB in here.